Home plate umpire is Darius Ghani, the first base umpire Michael Raines, and across the way at third, the crew chief Aaron Higgins. We received quite a few queries about this one. But then Bush extended it with that two-run blast. Is that we have the challenge system in place today. Defense challenges the ball call in the first. This one gets confirmed, and as the broadcast says. It's a ball, so home plate umpire Darius Ghani had it right. This crew has been correct more often than not been a solid crew this series. And because the crew is doing so well, we're left with criticisms such as. I'm not sure why the umpires are wearing their uh, dark polos today. This would be a perfect day for the umpires to wear their powder blues. Someone missed the boat there. Not to worry, as this is minor league baseball, so we're watching some mascot fun between innings. You're about to have a play that you can talk about for a well, as long as you want to, and call us about it so we can talk about it too. Moving to the fourth. Let me hear it for all my mascots. Thank you, mascots. I think it was about to go straight sideways. A swing and a fly ball hit well to right center field toward the gap. Johnson goes into the gap and a galloping catch made by Bryce Johnson. And he almost jumped up over the bullpen fence. He was trying to jump into the wall. Oh, they're going to say that he lost the ball over the fence and it's going to be a home run. No way. I've never seen that. Johnson made the catch. And I mean, if this is like football, he's got possession and he's got a baseball move if you will he caught it and then oh my goodness so the question we're asked is should this be a home run or a catch well let's start with the rule book first 509a1 also in the definition of terms a catch is the act of a fielder in getting secure possession in their hand or glove of a ball in flight firmly holding it providing they do not use their cap protector pocket or any other part of their uniform in getting possession it is not a catch however if simultaneously or immediately following their contact with the ball, they collide with a player or with a wall, or if they fall down and a result, and as a result of such contact or falling, drop the ball. I think you know where we're going with this. The center fielder contacts the ball, then contacts the wall, and the ball comes out at some point. And if we look at the rule, this scenario is immediately following contact with the ball, they hit the wall, and the ball comes out. It's a tough one because... This one, he takes a few strides, right? You you can say he took a one or two strides into the wall, but this is not like football, contrary to what the announcer says. This is not a baseball play, a football play that sort of cancels the rule. In football, we always say the ground cannot cause a fumble, but in baseball, the wall can absolutely cause a drop. Topple over the wall, and that's when he lost the ball. And it looks like this is gonna stay a home run. Hold on, time out, time out. Engineer Lindsay, could you please boost the audio on this? And it looks like this is gonna stay a home run. Wow. That's my music. How dare you? Just like the Orioles using my music without even asking. This is from my original ballpark organ CD. Go buy it. Please. How dare you, though, Sacramento? You know what? You did that, so I'm glad this was called a home run, notwithstanding this is actually the rules correct call. The definition of catch further states that in order to establish the validity of the catch, the fielder must release it in a way that is voluntary and intentional. That's the key phrase, voluntary and intentional. Was the release of the ball here voluntary and intentional? I don't think that he meant to do that, so the answer would be no. Took a couple of steps before jumping at the wall, and the ball slipped out of his glove as he was kind of bracing himself on the top of the short fence. That is so bizarre. Now I know I'm gonna get some questions. Why isn't this a catch and carry like the judge play? And the difference is Aaron Judge had the ball the whole time. Here, the fielder drops it as a result of the collision with the wall. And I think the incorrect call there is that pitch. To recap, the rules support this call of home run as bizarre as the play looks because that release was not voluntary nor intentional. But the real incorrect call here is Sacramento using my music without even asking. Thanks for the question. Like and subscribe, especially you, Sacramento. Visit us online at Discord, the socials at Close Call Sports, and we'll see you on the site. Looks like this is going to stay a home run. Wow. I have never seen that. This is something.